The President of the United States may have the right to protect someone, but the question is, why is he protecting them? Is he protecting them for his own selfish desires as a man that he wants to have his wife, Jill, but he also wants to have another one with almost a similar name? You see, the life of a man is the life of a man, and the life of a man has the right to protect the ones he loves. But when the people of a city decide to get involved in something that she made down and dirty and not pretty, that's on her life. If she participated in a sexual assault on him while he was sleeping, after he was mocked, trapped, and not enticed, but literally hypnotized by some Muslim in a jail, what are we teaching our men? Isn't the Batman film about the Sandman pretty much along those lines? that the mental health people are immoral in those jails. I believe that Stan Lee deserves an accolades from the president because he knows what to do and he knows what to say. But you're putting people all over the city to pretend to be someone that they're not. They're doing this in front of Jesus Christ and they think they're going to get out of this. Jesus Christ makes an individual soul unique in every way. But you thought you'd continue to play and you thought you'd continue to stay and you thought you'd continue with that man. What is that man to you, and really, is he that eye candy that you want to show to all the southern Phillies to say, look, I lost Travis, but hey, here's my new guy. Isn't he better? Isn't he marvelous? He's a business owner like me. It's perfect for me. The lie you've told yourself, miss, is that you don't know what love is. And because you don't know what love is, you started to monkey with your face at the request of who? At the behest of who? Your new man? You were stunningly beautiful, and if you pulled a deer out of Hannah where you fucked your face and got screwed by it, or a Joan Rivers, that's on you. But at no time did that little man say, I don't love you for who you are. And he didn't say he thought you were ugly. He thinks you're stunningly beautiful, exquisite by far. But you thought you'd screw around with plastic surgery. You thought you'd do all this shit to make yourself more pretty. Why? Because of your vanity? You're not willing to age right. You're not willing to stage right. You're not willing to do anything right anymore. And that's the influence of the men you've chosen. If you had simply paid attention to God in those moments, your boys would be better. They'd be more honorable men. They wouldn't be liars, thieves, and cheats, sadly like their father. Isn't that what he did? He basically left you kind of at the altar after year seven? Or did you fuck around and got him upset? So he decided to fuck around and you destroyed your family. You were under a lot of stress, it's true. But there was a gentleman there who was helping you. To the best of his ability, he was tolerating the shit you wanted to do to make your money. He didn't like the program. He didn't want the program. He found it to be an expensive program. It cost him money. But it also cost him a shitload of time. And he gave up a shitload of time with his wife, with his son, with his business, with things that actually made money because you weren't willing to hear him say, why don't you just come and work for me and sell for me and I'll give you 50%. But you were thinking he wasn't marvelous enough, you were thinking he wasn't good enough, and yet look at all the shit you did to him. Who the fuck talked to you? Who the hell walked up and said, he's not worth it? He's not this, he's not that. If one of his siblings did that, if one of his bitch sisters did that, you're a fool. Because sisters who don't like a girl will do shit like that. But sisters who don't like a man will ruin a man by stealing his mail, taking his property, running around in his house, moving things about, taking his sexual toys, doing anything that they can do to try to determine what they want in their family. But no offense, he's not in their family. They each had husbands. They each had children. They each now potentially have grandchildren. And if they don't, that's on them. But your lie was you were going to participate in a family that you weren't really a part of because you rejected that man.